Pachamama used as monstrance for adoration of the body of Christ. Mux from Mexico, image of Pachamama used as a monstrance during adoration at the altar of St. John Macias Parish in Zapopan in the metropolitan area of Guadalajara. They used the unpleasant image of the Pachamama, also known as Mother Earth, which they resemble in profanation to the Blessed Virgin Mary. This image is the same one that accompanied various activities during the 2019 Synod of the Amazon, which was also enthroned in the Vatican during an event organized in the Vatican Gardens on October 4, 2019, and which many ignorant people venerate as a pagan goddess, from which they imagine that Christ the Son of God comes out. But why has this new desecration been committed? Priest Juan Pedro Oriol, pastor of the parish St. John Macias, where this great sacrilege was committed, was contacted, but he affirmed that he did not know nor did he authorize the use of the monstrance with the shape of the Pachamama. In an interview with CNA Catholic News Agency, he affirmed, I left on Monday, June 28, for a few days of vacation, and this was done without my knowledge and without my permission, he said, stressing that it is a great displeasure for me, enormous. Father Oriol pointed out that this monstrance obviously does not belong to the parish, and pointed out that in our parish we always used the same monstrance, and we exposed the Blessed Sacrament every day. Comments What is happening to our Catholic Church? The influence of the Vatican with the Synod of the Amazon open the doors to the idolatry that we have clearly seen in these last years. And there is no one responsible to whom a claim can be made. In the beginning, this desecration of the Pachamama was an offense directly committed by the Vatican authorities, which is why God has punished us by allowing us to feel the scourge of this pandemic. The green light given from the top of the church has allowed profanations to take place in many parts of the world. The Pachamama is a deity of the indigenous people of South America, is now compared to the Blessed Virgin Mary, which is a great offense to our Catholic religion. Mother Earth may be a goddess to the indigenous people but not to those of us who accept one true and triune God. Global warming is used as a weapon by the Vatican in the encyclical Laudato Si to teach idolatry, making us responsible for the climate and creating new sins for our offenses against nature. The first commandment calls us not to have false gods. Now. To syncretize these pagan gods with the true God on a Catholic altar is a most serious offense to God. We are in the time of the great apostasy, when even the elect will be deceived. The Lord tells us in Matthew 24, verse 24, for false Christs and false prophets will arise and show great signs and wonders to deceive, if possible, even the elect. That is why we are seeing so many barbarities happening on our Catholic altars, because there is no head in the Church, because the Vatican's nonsense is multiplying all over the world, and many priests are supporting homosexuality, abortion, the globalism Francis has led the Church into, false ecumenism, false mercy, and everything that comes out of the Vatican. The new church within our Catholic Church is manifesting itself more and more every day. The bishops do not say anything about it because they have a lot of soap to wash their hands. 
Many priests are introducing their new ideas going out of the tradition that reigned in the church for 2,000 years. Many confused faithful accept all the novelties that occur in the church and do not realize the offense they are committing before God. May God enlighten us and give us the wisdom and discernment to understand all that is happening. The kingdom of the Antichrist is the forming our church to take possession of all souls. Let us pray much and make reparation of Eucharistic adoration for priests because they are responsible for the salvation of many souls. If you like this video, Please give us a like, subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, share on social networks, and don't forget to leave your valuable comments. Please tell us, what do you think about the Pachamama? And what do you think about the church messing with idols? God bless you.